I want to know Pat Bev's New Amsterdam starting five, top five top power, power forward. forwards in the league. Any order? Carl Anthony Towns, Draymond Green, Aaron Gordon. It's not a lot of fours out there. We You're missing the biggest one. Who the biggest one? You're, you're in his country right now and you play with him. This Greek year. freak, not a four. Well, you didn't put him on your five list. He had three. No, 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 he's not. Greek freak is the three. Are you crazy? What? Chris Middleton, Dame Lillard, Greek freak. What are you talking about? I put Greek in the same position I put Wimby, Greek, Braun, KD. Positionless basketball. Can't say you're a four and you playing a point. But just because he's just bringing the ball up, does that means he's a point? Just because he's seven foot, does that make him a four? But he is a four. four. Call him now, bro. See if he's going to say I'm everything, Pat. He did Pat, I'm everything. <laughs> four is not. The four is a, becoming instinct. Siakam. Siakam's a three. Siakam's not a four. Actually, he's Zion. a four. Zion's a four. Bankero. He's a three. Markinen. <sighs> Another one that I want to throw in there is a Jaron Jackson. Ooh, he's a four. Okay, I'm redoing my list. Carl Anthony Towns, Zion, Jaron Jackson, Lori Marketing, Draymond's definitely still got to be in there. All right, man. What do you think, man? I for, that's a lot to unpack. I actually need yeah. a notebook yes. to write down some stuff. Yeah. Uh, and look, first of all, he's played with these guys. So obviously, I, I hear those names and, and knowing the type of player he is, he's clearly putting an emphasis on defense, maybe not with Towns so much, but you hear Draymond, who's still obviously a great player. Uh, I'm trying to remember. Uh, yeah, I guess not really with marketing. He's not. Yeah, talking he put about he put Cat Zion, Jaron Jackson Jr., Lowry marketing, and Draymond. Stop five. That's no, a confusing no list in yeah. general because I feel like Jaron Jackson. I know he doesn't love playing five. Plays a lot of five. The fact that he took out like Giannis and KD and all these other Hall of Fame players and didn't get to Julius Randle yeah. is telling. But to me, the the part that tells the most is yeah, you you know you get hurt and you miss six months. That's what happens. Guys forget. I hope Randall hears all this. We're doing a segment on my pod tomorrow about like bulletin board material. Yeah. And is that like a real thing? I'm going to ask Liner. Does that really happen in locker rooms? So, yeah, I hope Randall uses this as fuel. I mean, no disrespect to Jaron Jackson. Yeah. I think he's a yeah. talented, talented player. I'm taking Julius Randall 10 out of 10 yeah. times with his all NBA appearances and basically tw- walking 20 and 10. Yeah, I I thought they they definitely insulted Julius just a little bit to take the line out of good good. Well, you're go- they, yeah, you're gonna yeah. you're not you're gonna take LeBron and KD and all those guys off of the four list, right? And then you're gonna leave out Rand- that if anything, Randall jumps even higher with those guys in positionless league. Yeah, so I, I think yes, yes, you can you can argue like I could see some points on his positionless topic when you look at Giannis sure. and he's bringing the sure. ball up and he's serving a lot of different roles and even Tib said in, in that NBA.com interview you know the two to three to four are kind of looked at from a wing perspective wing. nowadays yeah. so you can kind of see that but for me I can't see how you don't have have Randall on that list uh, I, I especially oh, Draymond like come on man like listen I, I get it Draymond has earned the accolades for sure and he's been for Mr. Sure. Everything for the Dubs since he's been there. But at this stage in the game, there's no way I'm taking Draymond over Julius. I can't and do. also Draymond not giving the Knicks a whole lot of respect. I don't know if you have him on some of your worst takes. Yes. Oh, absolutely. Parts of yeah, his yeah, pod. Shredding him. But uh, look, the thing for Randall with me was obviously, you know, the all NBA stuff is fantastic. Yeah. But once the OG trade happened, he did redefine his game a little bit. He became more of a playmaker. It was less shoot first. His numbers went down. He was making more of an effort on defense. And I just thought he was, he showed that he was willing to change his role depending on the personnel in the team. And we saw the results like we just talked about with the wins. So yeah, look, if you want to tell me Giannis, LeBron, those are fours, great. I give it, of course. But if you're taking those guys out and you're going Jaron Jackson and Carl Anthony Towns first, that's rough. There's no way. There's no way. I would have to go. I would go Giannis. I'd go Katie, Braun, Cat, Julius. And like, yeah, I I guess it's true because I'm starting to think like, all right, well, Porzingis is a four, but he's a five. And now Horford's gone. So does that mean Tatum's now a four? Like it, it is pretty positionless and hard. To say, but if we're separating those guys into wing, yeah, I'm, I'm with you on that traditional list. Yeah, that makes sense to me. 
A- absolutely, man. So uh, the, the Julius Slander continues. And like you said, hopefully it is bulletin board material uh, for him going forward, man. We'll, we'll have to yeah, see. Yeah, because he was on his way to, I don't know if he would have made all NBA second, but maybe all NBA third team again. Yeah. So you and, can't say enough about what the guy's done since coming here. And people overlook it too much. Yeah, absolutely. And, and a third all star appearance, man. So he, he definitely can't uh, sell him short. So going to have to see what happens. Hopefully he's he's ready. For the start of uh, training camp and hopefully definitely uh, ready for uh, for the Celtics on opener night because we, we are getting there. 35 days away from the opener. 